Uh, this is a quick video on if you're having a problem with your Generex and it has the seal sense. Uh, some of them will start, run for about 30 seconds, and then shut off. And some of them will do like this one, and you start it, and you can't shut it off with the switch. It just keeps on running. If that's the problem, this, if you really need it in an emergency, you need to remove the CO sense. That's what's stripping it out. Um, I have one that I took out. This is it here. It should have a, uh, like a box right here, but it just broke away and fell off. So some of them is that, some is another way. But I'll go ahead and show you how to get it off. First thing you do is remove this sticker from here. Okay, when you remove the sensor, you're gonna have two screws here. One is there and one is there. There's security um, torques. So you'll take them out. If you don't have that, you can get a flathead screwdriver to work in them. They're not that tight. And then you will take it out of the back. Okay, once you take out the two screws, that's what you're going for. Then you have to separate it. You'll see the little clips there. And on the other side, right up there. You need two hands to do that. Okay, once I took it off, this was off. That's what's making it not turn off. And this is that little chip. It should be, that's where the, and that's those three pins right there. It should be in like that. Ready to work, but nothing you can do there and I'll plug it up and start it up it'll make noise uh, just for y'all to see what it does so if this is normal you hit the switch on you put the choke on does that just shut off now when if this is a thing here now if you were to take it off like that do the same thing we can start it disconnected the spark plug so let's go fix this problem let me explain these two ways you can fix it if you're gonna be using this indoors indoors order a new one of the CO sense if not you got Two, two black wires cut them join them together and tape it up and that's it then it runs like a regular generator all right just put the two black wires together right here and here don't worry about that pink or red or green and yellow whatever it is and all you do now is tape this up because this thing here will zap you just like the spark plug will 
So I'll tape it up now, put it away, and that's done. All right, when you're done, just like that. Put it right here in the section where all these other wires will go, and just roll that strap back up on them, and you'll be done. All right, the sticker is still very sticky. So I always put it back and then I write a bypass right in front of the, the um, I bypass right here. And that way everybody know this is bypass. So don't put it in your garage to run it. But on the ones that we put indoors, I order a new one and put it in. Forgot to show what I do. I just put that right there. So everybody will know. Don't put it inside any enclosed spaces.